big week for Donald Trump next week with his first meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping. A Senate vote on Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch is also expected next week. Joining us again, Jay Chabria, former advisor to Governor John Kasich and managing director at public affairs firm Mercury. Good to see you. Morning again. So it's day 70 of President Trump's first 100 days. Yeah. Next week, big week. What can we expect from his meeting with the Chinese president? He already tweeted that that meeting will be very difficult. Well, I think this is a really, really important meeting for several reasons. One is we're coming on the heels of the Angela Merkel uh, handshake gate meeting. So people are going to be really looking at what the tone of the, uh, the president takes, especially after he's, si he's signing these tough executive orders against China. I do think this is a way to get back on track with some of the base that feels that they've, uh, we, we as a country have been losing out to China for decades and we should be tougher against them. So politically, there, there's a lot of uh, value to this. He is going to get pushback from the business community, the ones that deal with uh, China in terms of trade and actually do business in China. So how is he going to manage that, the Chamber of Commerce crowd in the Republican coalition? That's going to be an interesting thing, too. The macro thing that I'm going to be looking at is there are those foreign policy experts that say you can't have an antagonistic relationship with Russia and China going on at the same time. We may be signaling a shift from, Russia, from going against Russia to having a tougher stance against China. And how is that going to play out for America going forward? Look, he's trying his best to sign these executive orders to fix mm -hmm. these trade deals because they are the reason that we have the biggest, uh, the right. largest part of our U.S. trade deficit. There's a hard line that he's really trying to draw. What do you think he needs to do then? Well, so, no, no, I, and, and this may be the right place to go. I'm just saying there's going to be a lot of challenges going forward. Now, the, the other thing that we have to look at, too, is what is the North Korea situation going to be? Is he going to have these uh, executive orders signed today, and then he's gonna, is he going to back off there and trade for North Korea? Because North Korea is a huge threat to America. We all know that they may be having a nuclear missile that can hit our, the, our West Coast uh, in, in the near future. He's got to make sure that China continues to take a hard stance or takes a tougher stance against North Korea. And this is a way to leverage that opportunity, too. Let's move on to Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch. Mm -hmm. I think they're just six votes shy at this point. Yeah. Now that two Senate Democrats, Heidi Heitkamp and Joe Manchin, have said that they will vote for him. So is he going to be our right. next Supreme Court justice? He is absolutely going to be the next Supreme Court justice. This has been the biggest win of the Trump administration in the first 70 days. I think Democrats are completely insane to even threaten a filibuster here. There are so many other places where they should be fighting that could get them more political capital. This is a, just a mistake for them. Gorsuch is going to be the next Supreme Court justice. He's going to be a great justice. I mean, what is Chuck Schumer thinking when he's so, he's so adamant on the other side? This is clearly just a base strategy, appease the base, uh, it, it block. Um, someone that is conservative and, and true conservative. But Gorsuch has proven to, through the hearings to be very adept. Um, I was uh, listening to a left-wing podcast the other day. Even they say, boy, this guy's really smooth. This is a mistake, uh, a political mistake. They should, uh, fine, threaten a filibuster, but move off quickly, and they should be focusing on some other things. That's what I'd be doing if I was a Democrat strategist. <laughs> Jay Chabria, thank you so much for your time this morning. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you.